Hi, my name is Jay with Blue Jay Crafts. We're going to be making a sign. Right now what we're going to be doing is, I had some audio issues at the beginning of this video, so that's why the audio is not matching the voice now. But this is the sign that we made. This is made out of Norfolk Pine. The dove, the hearts, we did with a router. We laid a paper stencil down over top, used some spray adhesive, glued it to the wood, we used a hand rotary tool, rotor tool, and we carved out the heart and we carved out the dubs. That was off screen. And that was before I started my YouTube channel. And what we're going to do here is I got a belt sander. The belt sander is turned upside down. And we're going to be rounding the edges and smoothing out the face. So we're going to sand the face, sand the back, sand the edges, and then we're going to round the edges of the sign so they're all smooth to the touch. Now, being that it is as oblong as it is, long ways, you're not going to be able to make it completely smooth like a sphere, but you can round the edges off. That way, they are smooth to the touch and not a sharp edge. That's all we're doing here is just rounding the edges of it off, and we'll go ahead and speed up this video, and we'll get you towards the end. You can see me rubbing my hand over the edges of it. That's just to make sure that all the wood is smooth to the touch. Make sure everything is smooth on the edges, smooth and round. Make sure you feel everything. And that's just me feeling my hand along there to make sure that all the edges are smooth and good to go. I think we got this. And we're going to be moving inside to inlay the resin inside the doves and hearts. See you inside. All right, so we got our sign inside of here, guys. And we are going to be inlaying resin inside the hearts and the doves. Uh, I think we're going to be using a mixture of a red and a gold for the heart. And we're going to be using a pearl white for the doves. I got my stir sticks over there on the side. And I got all my ghost and pumpkin stuff over there for when we make our resin. <clears throat> now, with these sides, with wood, wood is porous, it likes to soak stuff up. Resin is a exothermic reaction. When you mix part one and part two together, they create an exothermic reaction, meaning they release heat. When they release heat, the wood, being that it's not 100% dry, it's going to have moisture in it. That heat released with the moisture in the wood will cause bubbles in your resin. They're very hard to get rid of, and if you have to keep coming back and hitting it with the heat gun over and over. So what we're going to do to remedy that issue is we're going to use a very thin layer painted on with a foam brush in my video, but you can use anything you want to use to do that. You can use paper towel, you can wet uh, regular rag. If you do use that, the resin is going to cure to it and you're not going to be able to use that again. So something disposable would be best. A uh, little paintbrush or something. And you're going to paint that resin on there very thin through the heart and the doves. Then when that cures, it's going to cause a layer between the resin that you put on the top and the resin you put on the bottom. And because we're mixing such a small amount of resin, it's a bit of a pain in the butt because it's such a small amount. So I got out the little Halloween decorations on the side and the little Halloween decorations on the side. We're going to take that foam brush and tap it on there. And then after we're done, we'll use that leftover resin and we'll make a little pendants and stuff out of the little ghosts and stuff for Halloween. That way we don't waste any resin. So we're going to mix up more than we need because it's going to be such a small amount. And then we'll do that. So I got the molds in the front of here. I got my foam brush ready, putting on my gloves now, and we're going to get the stir sticks and everything else. <clears throat> so 
So we make sure we're going to cover all the wood. Make sure we cover all the little nooks and crannies inside the dove's wings there. We got our little cups here because we're only going to be mixing a little bit of resin. And we're probably going to mix it in the bigger cup first because it's going to be a small amount. Maybe we'll pour it into the smaller cups to mix up our colors or whatever we may do for the pendants. So I'm getting my resin out now. We're going to get that all stirred up. And we'll probably speed up the video through this process and we'll get back to you when we're done. Now make sure when you're stirring it, you make sure it's clear, it's all good to go, stir it very good, make sure everything is stirred properly and mixed properly before you do the pour. We got our little foam brush here, we're going to dip that in the resin, and we're going to start painting our doves. You just dip that in there, get it nice and coated. All right, so we're just doing that, that thin coat on there. Make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies, especially when we get over to the doves. <clears throat> all those little wings, those little tails off, we got to make sure you get in there. Uh, I think I had a little trouble with the foam brush. It was a little too thick, so maybe a regular bristle brush might be a little bit better. Uh, it didn't. The resin didn't want to quite sit in there. But uh, we'll go ahead and skip ahead on this a little bit, and then we'll uh, catch you guys when we're all done. All right, so we got that board all painted. We got a little bit of resin left over in the cup. And we're going to go ahead and have our molds ready. We're going to pour the little bit of resin that's left over into one cup, a little bit of resin poured over into the other cup. Now that I'm double thinking about it, I could have just poured a little bit of resin in one cup and saved the other cup, but it's just a paper cup. So we got our little pendants there. We're going to decide what colors do we want to mix in with our resin here and make something. Alright, what color, what color do we want here? So I picked some of that Send Fire Yellow to stick in there. <clears throat> And we're going to want to mix a color in with that, too. What color are we going to mix in with that? So I'll pour a little bit of this down in the mold there. And then we'll lay our little pendants down in there. Now these pendants, I got these pendants from the sewing section of Walmart. And they had a little doohickey on them. And on the back, where your line or thread could go through it and you could sew it into a hat. I took a razor knife and used that to cut off the little nub that was on the back. That's why if you can see the back and some of them have a little white on the back. Now be very careful if you do get some of these or anything because they are extremely tiny. Uh, if you can see the size of them, I mean these molds are only maybe one inch by an inch and a half and they fit multiple ones in there. These things are only a little quarter by quarter. So if you're cutting something like that, make sure you're very, very careful with uh, not to slice your finger or something. So we're topping that off there. And I think we're going to mix a little bit of orange in with that.
And when we're trying to slide our mold over my table, uh, I'm actually doing all this off a folding table that you would get like a card table from uh, from the store. And it's got a little wedge in the center where it folds out. And because of that, the resin being self-leveling was trying to pour off to the one side and go into the next mold. So I had to kind of slide it over to where the table levels out a little bit better. I need to figure out a better system for that. Then we got a little bit of resin left over. We're going to pour it into these little beads here. Let that get hard with those. Don't ever want to waste your resin, so you have a little bit left over. Always make sure you got a little mold sticking around or something. Pour a little bit in there. Or, I have seen some people where what they do is they'll take their leftover resin and they pour it into a big cup. And they'll just pour multiple layers in there. And they do a project with it later. So we got that orange in there. We're going to take a couple drops of that orange and drop them in there. Let them kind of dissolve into it. Give it a cool hue. Maybe take a to stick and give them a stir. I'm not really sure. And we're deciding what we want to use with our skeletons and ghosts. Figure out what molds we want to do. Alright, so we got our cups all out and we're going to be mixing our resin and our pigment powders. Now these are black diamond pigment powders I'm using here. I absolutely love these guys. Uh, the one we're using there is Scarlet and uh, I got a little sample pack off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And then this one is we're going to mix with the red and that's gold and that's called Roman gold, and we're mixing the Roman gold and the scarlet together. Now, the black diamond pigment powders, I love these. Uh, what I do is I put my pigment powder in the cup first, then pour my resin on top. It keeps the resin weighed, it keeps the uh, mica powders laid down at the bottom instead of on the top. And when you stir, some of that, sometimes that powder will go out of your cup or out of your mixing container and kind of go everywhere. And you don't want that. So I always pour it in first, then pour the resin on top of it. But uh, these mica powders I got off of uh, Amazon from a company called Black Diamond. And when I first got into this stuff, I bought a little 10-pack. It was like $20. I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description. And I absolutely love the, uh, the colors that I got. And I luckily was, uh, I had a lucky hand at a... Uh, scratch off ticket and I won a couple bucks and so what I did was is I splurged and I actually bought the camera that I am filming all of my YouTube on now and I uh, bought a big pack a big huge pack of uh, sample packs and what I'm figuring now is I can use all these samples on YouTube hopefully you guys enjoy them as well and after that, I can figure out what colors I really enjoy, what colors I don't enjoy, and I'll be able to buy bigger containers of the ones I do like and narrow down what. I mean, this sample pack came with all types of uh, stuff in there, and we'll get more into those when we get further along in our YouTube career. But we're just mixing up these resins now, getting them all ready to go, and uh, I think we're about done. And we're going to be pouring these into the mold here. And that is the scarlet and Roman gold mixed together. Uh, it gives it a really cool look. Now, when you're filling up your, uh, when you're inland the wood, make sure that you fill it up, but don't fill it up so much to where it bleeds over into the rest of the wood. And we got our uh, pearl white here. Now this is really cool uh, look that this resin gives. And I super enjoyed the color that it left 
we'll be able to see at the end how that uh, works out. And the resin is not wanting to go into the wing folds, as you can see there. So we're just taking a, a stick, a little toothpick, and we're moving the resin up into the little nooks and crannies of the bird's tail feathers.